Uh, today, I'm delighted to say we're joined by Andrew Gibney. He's a football writer. You can find him over at Football Whispers. But he's written about Liga extensively for 442, for Yahoo, and of course, FrenchFootballWeekly.com. Andrew, I, I wanted to talk to you about Alexandre Lacazette, a player Arsenal been linked with for some time, but those links appear to be hotting up at the moment. And to perhaps to some surprise, that's not been met with universal enthusiasm among Arsenal fans. Has that surprised you? Yeah, I think especially the position of Arsenal and now, facing say the top four, it's a Europe League football, and you're getting someone who is a national class European striker now, and that and Arsenal fans they're not that keen. I don't. I really don't understand because he's a phenomenal talent, and I think he's he's ready now for this this step up and change of scenery and sort of next chapter in his career. Yeah. Do you think he's a player? You think he's ready for the Premier League? Do you that he could go and make a big impact in English football? I think you never know how well these players are going to do, but I think he's done everything in his career leading up to this that he's ready for that challenge. Mm. Uh, people might say, why is he not moved before now? It's because he wanted to stay at Leon. He wanted to get them with a new stadium, and he feels now it's the right time in his career to make this step, rather than what most players do is maybe move too early. He's moving at the right time. It's at a peak of his career. Yeah, and he came through at Leon. He's obviously, it's obviously a club he felt a lot of affinity for. Yeah, it, one of the plans was, I think if they didn't have the new stadium so the last uh, 12 months ago, he'd have moved before then, but he wanted to play like, Champions League football, Europa League football with his hometown team in the brand new stadium, what they've been working towards for years. And he did that. And now I think everyone's quite happy at Leon that this is the right time for Lacazette to go and they're going to get a massive bumper payday for it. Yeah, it sounds like it will be a, a big feat. I think probably the reason some Arsenal fans are a little underwhelmed at the prospect of Lacazette is all the been all the talk about Kylian Mbappe, but I guess it's important to remember he's just yeah. an eighteen year old uh, Arsenal for a start, quite unlikely to get him. But he's a, a young guy; you don't necessarily know what you're going to get. Lacazette seems like somebody who is really proven now as a, a regular and reliable goal scorer. Is that fair? Yeah, I think definitely. I mean, Mbappe, I, I love Kylian Mbappe. It's been amazing to watch, but he's only really been playing first team football since February. Mm. So I think you need to, if you're if you're Arsenal, you need proven quality, not a kid that, for all we know, could burn out really quickly. We really don't know. It, it's maybe unlikely, but Lacazette, as you said, has done it over a number of years. Started as a winger, became a centre forward, has scoring goals consistently, sort of in Europe and domestically. Why anyone wouldn't want them? And I've seen people mention the, the penalty statistic. There's like ten penalties in league one. Yeah. Would you rather have someone score crucial penalties, or when you're four, five, one up? And what's how do you weigh that up? It's it's a, it seems a, it's trying to you know Brink are getting a really good player, and you're trying to pick faults with it when you really don't have to. Well, I think uh, yeah. I mean, another thing that people have said uh, is that you know, well, Olivier Giroud gets into the France team ahead of him, but knowing what you do of Lacazette. And the, and the strikers Arsenal have, they've got Giroud and Welbeck on the books at the moment. Do you think he definitely represents an upgrade, despite Deschamps' choice for Giroud? Yeah, I mean, I'm a massive Olivier Giroud fan for what he does. In the, sense, the way Deschamps plays, that Deschamps just loves Giroud's uh, profile and what he does. Like I said, it's totally different. The, his, his movement's more fluid. He's gonna If you're playing three up front, he's going to go down the left, down the right. He's going to link up play, do what Giroud does, but do more and maybe do it better as well. And even anyone who follows France, we've been asking for reasons why he's like, is that not getting in the France team mode as well? It's not due to his quality. It's just it's what Deschamps picks a team on, what he thinks the team's going to do as a group, yeah. not individual talents. Yeah. And that's why Giroud gets in over Benzema and things like that. And you look at Giroud's record for France and you can't really argue with that. But I think Lacazette is much, much better overall, definitely. It's interesting, isn't it? Because Giroud's goal scoring for Arsenal last season was pretty good as well. His record, goals per minute was great. But there is a sense that stylistically, he's maybe not the best centre forward. I haven't seen too much of Leon recently, but from what you've seen of Lacazette, does he fit that that Arsenal style, that mobile mobile Arsenal style? Yeah, years ago you probably would have said no, because it was it was it was playing in the four three three, but on the right, and then he became a centre forward in a sort of four four two diamond, and that took his game to another level. And then when they moved back to four three three under Bruno Genesio, he really struggled to be that centre forward number nine. Uh, but then you can see over the weeks and weeks he got used to that and he was linking up and everything was very tight and intricate, but he could play sort of all three roles while being the main centre forward. And you look at the way Arsenal played with that four, uh, 3 4 3, mm. he really suits that. And you allow, if Sanchez is still there, 
he can run in behind Lacazette when he pulls defenders out of place. And you get much more sort of variation than just having Giroud as a sort of main target man. So, yeah, I think it fits very, very well. So, come on then, Andrew. Give Arsenal fans some uh, some reasons to be excited about the possibility of landing Lacazette. What are his best qualities? I mean, you've got someone who can, he can play in behind defenders. He'll play on the last shoulder. He'll even come deep and link up and be that sort of target man number nine. He's lethal when he gets into the box. He can score all types of goals now, from outside, from inside, ghosting at the far post. He really has developed every part of his game to be someone that's really worth getting excited about. If I was an Arsenal fan, I'd love him in my team. And I think it's going to be a joy to watch in the Premier League if it happens. Oh, well, that's good to hear. I mean, is there any element of his game you think he might need to work on if he makes that step to Arsenal? The biggest criticism has been sort of in the Champions League level and being sort of clinical in that sense, the biggest, biggest games. Mm. But I think that's he gets he gets into right positions and he gets to chances. And you look at his, his conversion rate for Leon overall is is it's almost thirty three percent, so it's really high. It's just maybe sometimes doesn't take the biggest chances, but that can come. That that will come with bigger games more regularly. Playing for Arsenal in the Premier League, you're going to play a lot of top games. Mm. And it's another thing you can improve, and I, I can't see him not getting even better again. So last one, Andrew. I mean, I feel like I know what you're going to say, but let's say the fee is 50, 60 million pounds. In your opinion, is he worth it? In the current market, when you're looking at what people are spending now, it's like a 60 million the news, a 35 million. Yeah, yeah and I think he's worth it. I think he's worth every penny, and it's you look at what what PSG played paid for Cavani was sixty four million, but four four years ago, like I said, it's worth that now, and yeah, I think he'll he'll repay that that fee. Thank you so much for talking to us today, Andrew. Cheers.